Join us on an epic journey to the frozen continent of Antarctica. In this video, we'll explore the breathtaking landscapes, unique climate, and diverse plant and animal life of this amazing place. From the majestic beauty of the Arroyo Australs to the surreal landscape of the dry valleys, Antarctica is a place that will take your breath away. Plus, we'll dive into the scientific theories about how Antarctica came to be and learn about the international cooperation and collaboration that takes place on the continent. So come along and discover the wonders of Antarctica with us. Welcome to the Social Media Hustle. A repeated fact over here on our channel, but did you know that Antarctica is the highest, driest, and coolest continent on Earth? It's true. With an average elevation of over 2,000 meters above sea level and annual precipitation of less than 2,000 millimeters, Antarctica is truly unique and extreme. But Antarctica is more than just a frozen wasteland. It's a place of great scientific interest and it's home to some of the most awe-inspiring natural phenomena on the planet. From the majestic beauty of the Aurora Australs to the surreal landscape of the dry valleys, Antarctica is a place that never fails to amaze and inspire. But how did this frozen continent come to be? That's where our story begins today. Many scientists believe that Antarctica was once part of a larger landmass called Gondwana. Gondwana was a supercontinent that included present day Antarctica, South America, Africa, Madagascar, Arabia, Australia, and India. This theory is supported by a number of lines of evidence, including the presence of similar rock formations and fossil plants and animals in these different regions, as well as evidence from plate tectonics and paleoclimatology. According to this theory, Gondwana began to break apart about 200 million years ago and the pieces started to drift away from each other. Antarctica was one of the last pieces to break away and it did so about 30 to 40 million years ago. As it drifted southward, the continent began to cool and dry out, eventually becoming the frozen desert that we know today as Antarctica. But Antarctica wasn't always a frozen desert. In fact, there is evidence to suggest that it was much warmer in the past than it is today and was covered in forests and home to a diverse array of plant and animal life. Fossilized plants and insects have been found in Antarctica and paleoclimate studies have shown that the continent was much warmer during the Epocene Epoch about 50 million years ago. So what happened to cause Antarctica to become the frozen continent that it is today? Scientists believe that several factors contributed to the cooling and drying of Antarctica. One of the main factors was the formation of the Arctic Circumpolar Current, which is the powerful ocean current that flows around the continent and helps it to keep the water surrounding Antarctica cold. Another factor was the uplift of the Transantarctic Mountains, which created a rain shadow effect 
causing the interior of the continent to become dry and cold. But despite its harsh climate, Antarctica is home to a wide variety of plant and animal life. The most well-known animals of Antarctica are probably the penguins. But the continent is also home to seals, whales, and a variety of other types of seabirds. On the land, you will find lichens, mosses, and algae, as well as a few species of flowering plants. But it's not just the plants and animals that make Antarctica an amazing place. It's also unique geology and landscape of the continent. The dry valleys, for example, are a region of Antarctica that is completely dry and free of ice. And it is home to some of the most extreme environments on Earth. With the surreal landscape and rock dust, the dry valleys are like nowhere else on this planet. Antarctica is also home to the world of the highest and most active volcanoes. The Thwaites Glacier, for example, is the massive glacier in the western Antarctica, and it is being rapidly melted by a group of volcanoes beneath it. These volcanoes are some of the most active on Earth, and their eruptions have the potential to dramatically impact the global climate. It's not just the volcanoes that make Antarctica a place of scientific interest. The continent is also home to the largest sheet ice on Earth, which holds about 90% of the world's fresh water. The study of this ice sheet and the impact of climate change on its vital importance to scientists and policy makers around the world. Antarctica is a place of international cooperation and collaboration. The continent is governed by the Antarctic Treaty, which was signed in 1959 and has been ratified by over 50 countries. The treaty establishes Antarctica as a scientific preserve and prohibits military activity, mineral exploration, and waste disposal on the continent. To wrap up this video, Antarctica is an amazing and mysterious place, full of scientific wonders and beauty. From its unique climate and landscape to its diverse array of plant and animal life, Antarctica is a place that never fails to amaze and inspire. The next time you're thinking about your next adventure, consider Antarctica and remember that it was once called Gondwana.